Well, that was technically the recap, so. <laughs> Well, I could um I could do a recap as uh as May if if nobody if I mean it sounds like we remembered most of it but pretty much why don't, why don't you I do think that? I think it'd be interesting to see May's point of view honestly okay <laughs> yeah. yeah all right okay so yeah we're back um we had illnesses we had scheduling conflicts um we took some time off but we're back and uh, I'm going to be doing the recap. as may and uh so yeah so i uh i jumped back into my home system and immediately my uh my compad i got blown up by uh all kinds of notifications uh bringing the mail in and i uh, found out that um there's a price on my head yeah the uh the clans Um, well, not the clans, but Astrogen, a corporation, a fucking corporation, has put a price on my head, has declared a war of assassins, um, because apparently they think that they can use our rules, our our rules that we used to to maintain law and order on Akemi during the bad years. like mafia rules that they can put a contract out of my head. And uh, yeah, I, I thought that my dad was going to cash in my chips and personally kill me my, himself. But no, he was more concerned about me and uh, my safety. And uh, I proceeded to take my new crew members back to the casino, set them up in a nice room and get shit faced. And, uh, and yeah, I, um, hung out at the pool. Um, I <clears throat> got sufficiently trashed and, uh, the next day my dad brought us all in for a meeting. He wanted to meet the new crew or at least the ones who stuck around after we landed. And, um, we had a meeting about everything that happened over on Hemsworth, everything that happened with estrogen. And um, their rage virus, their genetic manipulation, their cloning, all the other evil crap that they're into. And now he wants us to go check on the mining operations. And I think that he's sending me out personally because he's worried about any of the other family members getting shot. And this is all kind of my fault. And I think he wants to save face. I think that he wants to show that... We can't be intimidated by violence. And um, so we're going to go uh, suit up. We're going to go swim with the dolphins and we're going to go check on the mining operations. But first stop, we're going to go to the mall and we're going to get new swimsuits. So um, May uh, kind of, she's like, come on, everybody. Anna, we're going to get, we're going to get you a bikini. We're we're getting bikini. We're getting new bikinis. Lucas, Mel, um, where everybody, you know, let's go to the mall. We're gonna go swimsuit shopping, and then we're gonna take um, we're gonna take a really fast boat out there. We will be out there and back in no time. Wow, y'all are really excited about this one, aren't you? Uh, May, what's the temperature on this planet? Oh, it's perfect. It's okay. you're gonna love it. The water is like nice and warm. You know, it stays pretty warm all year round. It's not that deep. It's like um, you just you're gonna love it. Okay, uh, she's still gonna get a more if if she insists on making a day a. Um... Uh, bikini issue it's going to be a little bit more of a, a reasonable one so where if i if i dive into the water my pants won't fall off <laughs> yeah she like tries to you know she drags everybody to the to the mall and the casino and like um you even see some of the people like the and some of her um like groupies you know they're like oh it's you know it's may um and uh And the, like, like, uh, take a, take a, take a picture, take a picture. Um, and then she's like gracious to them. She like waves at them 
but drags you into the the little store that has like um sunscreen and swimsuits and all that stuff um but yeah you can you can grab whatever you know whatever kind of swimwear you want it's not going to force you to be like oh this looks so cute like try to try to get you into a bikini but um i'm not going to force you Well, I mean, she wouldn't um, mind a two-piece, but just not a bikini. <laughs> They're not very practical. Yeah. It's like, no, you got to show some skin. Like, yeah. I am. Is that my, mid <laughs> my, my midriff, my arms, my legs. <laughs> Just, just gets one of those um like um sporty um um swimsuits with a um just a normal um collar neck um shirt over it, and she's like, "That's all I'm getting." <laughs> um, and then uh, <clears throat> and then you know she she drags you to the uh, to the docks. You're just gonna you you head straight down, and there's actually like a dock for the casino, um, and there's you see like there's like some some yachts like there's like some really really nice looking. boats and stuff and then some like little cigarette boat kind of things like speedboat things um and then um yeah may kind of like walks around and starts talking to people um and she um walks walks over to um to grab one of these um speedboats And then she, then she um, says, uh, "Hey, I wanted you to meet somebody. This is this is um, Sal. He 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 works with us. He's gonna drive." What question is is do we do we does uh, Anna and Tal, uh, Sal know each other? Did you put that in the thing? You you were having uh, well, you were originally like and as a scout. Former Oh scout, yeah. there that that uh, that we be we would be each other's contacts. Is that I I did the uh point buy and the skill package buy instead of the regular creation path, which includes uh, contacts. So I don't know how that I don't know how that works. Well, they kind of I guess. kind of ended up going more like more down the because he's you know he's from here. And Yeah. Mm he's um kind of went went more pirate, more like rogue. Uh, I don't know, like uh, mob. Oh, yeah. he'll fit in. He'll fit in great with the group. He's the one a pow pow. Uh, you Yeah. know, out there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, I uh I, I do uh I greet him and then uh, Mel check the engine, make sure it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I she keep has forgetting. a price. She has a price on her head. <laughs> oh yes, Tess and Shell um check the engine. <laughs> it's I'll be like, testing all right, you. let me Testing check it. you. Oh yeah. I should pr I probably change my name around so you don't say the first thing in my name. Yeah. Yeah, that would help <laughs> you. Yeah. all right, let Yeah. me name myself. And so how the part of how the the rules work Mm -hmm. is that they're they're not supposed to kill you when you're inside your home. They're supposed to wait for you to leave your home. So it's like a form of house arrest. And they're also not supposed to, I mean, well, you wouldn't know this, I guess, but um, they're supposed to like shoot you in the face. It's supposed to be like up close and personal or, or do it right something Well, right yeah, to your face. yeah, Um, yeah, I, Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I don't know that, and all, and and, all, and also is like, like she said, this is a corporation, not not the clans doing this. Um, do they know that? All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is going to be a straightforward mechanic roll. Let's see how good this engine is. Ooh, 13. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. So this thing looks fast. It is like a. Um, uh <clears throat> yeah if you picture like like the fastest kind of speedboat that you can picture um and it's like um uh you know like a hydrofoil thing like it, it like comes up out of the uh, out of the water uh 
And she's like, yeah, this is like, she's like looking at Tessa and like, you know, what do you, what do you think? <laughs> Tessa just gives out like a loud whistle and just says, Ooh, baby, I want, if this was a ship, I'd say she would be the top of the ship in all of the lands. <laughs> Dang. Dang. This is actually a really good model. They even have a whole infusion doing like a ship in here. How the hell do you get your hands on something like that? That's like supposed to be top grade aid mechanic stuff. Yeah. Um, and the the engine looks like totally clean. There's no no um it looks really well maintained and everything. Um it kind of looks like they maintain like a fleet, like they um they have quite a few vehicles here, you know. Well, shoot, man, if you didn't have like an actual father that was actually high up in the government, I'd say you stole this thing for how high tech it is. <laughs> He's like, no, no, I I don't think we stole it. Uh, no. <laughs> well, clearly, if you did, I have to tell you, yeah, you stole it. And well, take it out of my hand. If somebody did, good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty sweet, right? Yeah. Though I'm still not so iffy about the whole going on water thing. I'm more of a space gal, not a water gal. Don't don't worry. I I, I know my way around ships, so I'll get you to where you need to go. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll hold you to that. And if I die, I'll come back to haunt you. So we'll see we'll see Tess and when you see the dolphins, you're gonna want to get a want to get into the water, I bet. Um but uh <clears throat> The uh, so yeah, this thing goes like super super fast. The idea of going taking like a little mini submersible just went straight out the window. Like, as soon as May was in charge, she's like, oh, she's like yeah. No, we're taking like the fastest boat that we have, we'll be out there and back in like a half hour. Um, but uh, yeah, like the once you move out onto the water this thing just flies it's like you're going like you know 200 something miles an hour um and uh wow. so in other words we, in other words we are flying unless this thing is very heavy <laughs> yeah i mean it, it literally like comes up out of the water and like it's not a grab vehicle but it's like crazy fast boat <laughs> <laughs> let's try um, spinning that's a neat trick oh no <laughs> hey yeah go ahead yeah um um but as you like come up on to there's um like an offshore kind of platform it looks more like a um like a drilling rig um and then you know just like pull in just flying cruising and then you see all these guys kind of like standing up on the sides of the the platform like looking down you know um checking out uh may like as she like pulls up um and then a guy is like he's like get back to work it's the boss's daughter like <laughs> you know like kind of like <laughs> smacks a guy um and then they they get you know um like get back to work and then this guy climbs down like comes down the the ladder to this little platform that's at like sea level where you all are and he's like hey hey may um and uh and then um very quickly after um after he comes down then you see all of these dolphins like pop up out of the water and then they have like um what do you call it um like electronics mm -hmm. where they're and then they're they're kind of like like doing their um thing where they're like it's like squeaking and kind of doing like mm -hmm. tricks and stuff like coming out of the water and um can I put my one of my um, 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 uh, drones? Can I set it up and have it on remote? Oh yeah, yeah. Around? yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So, 
And then May is like, just, you know, she's like talking to this guy and then immediately like, oh, you know, the, the dolphins. And then she goes down to like pet them and like kind of play with them and stuff. And, uh, and she seems to even know like a couple of them by name. Um, he's like, look, look, have you ever seen these before? In pictures, uh, I'll uh, go over there with her. It's like, do they allow anybody to do that or just you? Or just people they know. Yeah, she's like, come here, come here. And then, and then, you know, they, um, this, um, uh, this guy like throws, throws them some fish mm -hmm. and stuff. And then the, but if you, yeah, if you want to like mm -hmm. pet them, they, um, mm -hmm. they'll just, they, they kind of get close and mm -hmm. like you can definitely just reach out and, and pat them on the head or, mm -hmm. so I'll ask the guy, let me have one of the fish. Yeah, a couple of fish. Oh yeah, here, and he just kind of hands you like a bucket. Okay, well, I will proceed to feed them. Yeah, he says, "Um, well, so it looks like the crawler stepped on some kind of a landmine. That's what everybody said. Uh, that was in the crawler. Um, they're up there on the rig. Um." Are you gonna go check it out? And and May is like, yeah. Um, Dad wants me to have a look at it. He he wants I don't know. He wants um. Uh, wants to find out you know who's um who's uh, sabotaging us. And um, yeah. and the guy's like, well, it could be. It could be um, USS. I mean, it could be one of the other clans. I mean, I heard you have a a price on your head. Um, and she's kind of like, she was having fun, but like now she's like, starts to get serious. Um, well, I ask, when did the sabotage take place? Um, just uh. Just like, like the other day, um, last night. Okay, would they have gotten? Could a mess? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Do can messages get there faster than the ships can or not? Um, no. So, so there's like no, um, like type and communication between the. It's like you have to. The there is like the the mail. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you go through, you take a ship through the one of the jump gates then that's how fast information travels so it's like mm -hmm. information travels with ships um so if but, that happened before if that happened before the ship got here and we were on really fast shit i mean we were one that could do the least amount of jumps right um no so it it would have happened after you arrived and then it would have after happened like during the during the night Okay. Like last night. Okay. So theoretically somebody could have come in after us and then short time, short window though. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was very, be very short window, but it was like mm -hmm. you, you came into the system and then this would have been like almost immediately after, like a few hours after you came into the system. Um, yeah, and he's like, he's like, well, you know, we don't know. Uh, just the crawler was down there, and um, we don't know who, who's who's planting mines, but it was they they said that it was definitely an explosion. It stepped on something, but you know, we have we have the mineral rights for this area mm -hmm. so there's nobody else operating around here it's only us so we 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 were definitely targeted <clears throat> by and, and sorry to interrupt no natural gases it might be an accident we need to take that into consideration no way this explosion wasn't caused by a rival party a third party if it was a natural gas pocket, they would have the crawler could have just stepped on it, and then you would just see some bubbles come out. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay, or could be from some well walla trader. What is a well walla trader? 
I don't know what crater is, but one as well, Walla. Someone that's not uh, on our side. Someone that's playing us from within, you know? Uh, yeah, that happens. Uh, but so uh, you would have seen this platform. You would have seen anybody coming up if they were coming up above water. So if somebody had to come in and fight a submersible, correct? Uh, not during the night. I mean, we, you know, we have uh, cameras and stuff, but if they... I, oh, enough, it okay. would have it would have been tough to see him at night. I'm just trying to narrow down possibilities. Well, my uh, question is, how do you know it was a man? Is there any like mine fragments left, or did you just assume it was? Yeah, good question. Yeah, and May is like, well, let's go, let's go take a look. Let's go take some pictures. Oh, right. Um. Yeah. Ray, I'll do that before jumping to conclusions. Not even know if it's a man yet. I swear, back where I'm from, I'm awesome would smack your heads off for saying something stupid, not even knowing what it was. Um, <clears throat> so, and like as May is, she's saying, let's go take some pictures. Um, mm -hmm. She's suiting up like pretty quick. All of this is happening like pretty mm -hmm. quick. Um, she seems like she wants to get in and out of here and do it as quickly as possible. And like, almost like she doesn't like being outside the casino, <laughs> um, or she, she wants to kind of minimize her exposure. Um, but she's like, she's like tossing on her, she like her rebreather and then her, um, like, uh, what do you call it? Um. The flippers, the uh, uh, fins. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how far down is this? Um, it's about like uh, two hundred feet. Ooh, okay. Yeah, the technology is so definitely that... better if we can get by with a rebreather. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that deep, but it's um, you know, two hundred feet. Yeah, Tekken just gives a really hard squint and be like. Nope, I am still a land cat girl, not a swimming one. No way, I'm not going in the water. You can't say anything well, that will make. Is there? Uh, I mean, uh, it's we, we have the rebreathers and everything, but uh, we aren't strong swimmers. Is there any small submersible that can be used? Um, you know, like a ROV to pick up. Uh, and plus, that would allow us to collect samples too. Take pictures, collect samples, etc. Yeah, I mean, and, I can do that. And, uh, I can get drive like one of those things as long as I'm not actually in the water. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with helping. Yeah, well, okay, so the, um, the guy, like the um, geologist kind of guy, he's like, he's like, yeah, we have a submersible. It's right over there. And May is like, no, 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 this is gonna be so much faster. I swear, we can we'll swim with the dolphins. They're gonna look. They're gonna help us look. And okay. um, it'll be so it'll be so much faster. Mm -hmm. um, you can stay here on the boat if you want to, Tess. And I, it's going to be fun. Like I promise. Like the dolphins are super cool. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's great, honey. Really, I am. But there's this one problem. I'm a land cat, not a water cat. Ae, I don't know how to swim well. I rather stay on something that is solid, not fluid. You got me. Mm -hmm. Like, well, okay. I mean, if you want to take it down, you can take it down, but like, this is gonna be so quick. I swear, we'll be in and out. Look, um, I just want to do it with my own way of like looking at mechanical job things. If it's a lineman, I'll know by looking at it because of the refragments. And I'll second mm -hmm. tell from the fragments if it's a mod or not. If and you, it isn't, you, then, yeah, oh well, what's we'll something yeah. else? Mm -hmm. yeah. There's is there's a small submersible I could take down with the uh, Tessin maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. Um, Tessin, I know Eric. This uh, it's good. Sasa, we don't want to, we don't want to drown. Yeah. So you know, that's uh, yeah, yeah. Tessin, that's definitely like the way for you to go. But I do, I do like the idea of us having both people in the submersible and outside the submersible. Because I mean, 
there's stuff that you can go down to the bottom, I'm assuming, and see that a submersible might miss. You might miss a submersible. Mm -hmm. Plus the dog, if she says the dolphins are going to help, they're probably going to help a person rather than the submersible. Yeah, and the, the dolphins, like, they're kind of swimming around, like, they look excited. They're like, mm -hmm. they actually seem pretty happy to see May. Mm -hmm. um, like, she's like, you know, patting each one of them on the head and like, oh, you know, little little dolphin baby. <laughs> now, before I brag, is there a swimming skill in this system? Sorry, out of character. <laughs> No, there yeah. actually there actually isn't a swimming skill in this system, but you can okay. get so good yeah. at swimming that you can have a skill for swimming. Like mm -hmm. that's the thing. Like you could be so good at swimming that like you are a dolphin now. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, I understand. Okay. It's not it's not like an actual skill you can actually achieve to get. It's more like a thing where it's like, oh, this is a skill you got because your character's really good at swimming. You're now an Olympic swimmer. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, so yeah, and I wanted to try something out too, like just out of game, like metagame was that mm -hmm. like when I mentioned that if you guys spend a lot of time working on the docks or whatever in the high gravity planet, like your strength mm -hmm. would have gone up, you know, or, mm -hmm. um, or your, your endurance or whatever. So basically like for each amount for, for whatever amount of time you spend swimming, I'm going to, I'm going to put points towards your swimming skill. So it's like, it's like, you're just basically going to pick it up over time. You know, okay. if you're swimming, you aren't going to have to put any points to it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, coming from a Navy background, um, I'm feeling quite at home, finally, mm -hmm. on uh, in water. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're, 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 um, what do you call it? Um, uh, UGC Navy, which is spaceships, but yeah. still, yeah. I figure Anna is like, water it's going to look terrible swimming on the sur surface, but once she gets in the water, it's going to be like more like zero G, and she'll be comfortable yeah. there. The main thing will just get, making herself breathe when you get your head's <laughs> underwater. Be like and, back home for uh, for you, Anna. You belt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and the water is warm, and um, it does. I mean, it does feel pretty good. Like the um, you know, sun's out and all that. Um, the uh, <clears throat> um, and so who who wants to take the submersible and who wants to just jump in? I'll I'll drive the submersible down if anyone wants to, unless they have a preferred crew. I'm just and, the submersible just so I can monitor like on the fragments if there are any down there. So mm -hmm. obviously because uh, Tessin does not like not being in control of her movements in a place that is uncomfortable, which is water. <laughs> I like to be in control of where I'm moving, not having water drift me afloat. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> and if you aren't like, you know, it's like I don't expect you, any of you to be strong swimmers because you're except for Sal. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Sa -sa. But, Aqua good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, he actually has some some background in like um, you know, like commercial fishing and stuff like that. And uh, mm -hmm. but exactly. you can use your yeah, you can use your back suit skill too, just as yeah. uh, like to use your rebreather and like keep your exactly. cool. You know if yeah, exactly something yeah, happens. and and um, and we can probably probably will probably suggest putting uh. Uh, a line down and have weighted belts, and we just you know, uh, get us down to the bottom quick, and then we can we can release when we're ready to come come up, you know, slowly. And um, if you want, yeah, to like cor coral divers do. What? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, like oh. coral divers do. You know, they do the thing to get down there quickly with the weights, and then they release them uh, as they need to come up. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also May kind of looks like she knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Um, like she, she's throwing on all of her gear and all mm -hmm. that. Um, but if you want to have your drone like just up and kind of going around, like sort of yeah. surveying the area, you can totally yeah, do that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. 
Uh, and I'll follow, I'll watch what Maggie's doing and follow suit. Yeah, yeah. same same here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Anna's getting in the water, Lucas is getting in the water, and yeah. then Sal and Tessin are going in the submersible. submersible. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. Okay. So, um, yeah, May just like, you know, she puts, on, puts in the rebreather, like falls over the back of the ship, mm -hmm. flippers come up. And then um, she's like in the water and she's like, come on, come on, Anna. It's super, like, it feels super good. You guys are going to love it. Like we're going to swim with the dolphins. And then they're like nudging mm -hmm. her and kind of like mm -hmm. uh, doing, you know, swimming around. Like they want her to kind of get into the water or like go like swim. Yeah. Um, uh, little backwards thing gives her a little bit of a pause, but she does it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but I mean, you don't have to go backwards over the boat with the like. You can jump in, you know, like yeah. But first. you got, but you, but you got the pin, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> or or I or or I could be chicken shit and just go down and go down the ladder and get in that way. But I'll, I'll jump in. <laughs> I'll go Ooh. backwards and jump in. I, yeah. I forgot to ask, what's the uh, gravity on the planet? Is this like one one or are we? lighter or heavier it's actually slightly lighter oh good good yeah good, good. okay okay yeah, nice. yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. we are not going to be super crushed going 200 feet then okay that's good yeah good just question. want to make sure like what level of protection we need <laughs> yeah it's close it's very close to like earth gravity but slightly lighter like 0. 0.8 or whatever eight yeah or cool um do, do we pop our ears with three breathers? You know, they equalize the pressure or not? Yeah, I mean, so also like you're um, you're not doing like a super fast ascent. It's kind of yeah. like, um, it's not okay. you know, if you're just swimming like by your own, just like that. Okay, so then, like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you oh, are. Yeah, the, the um, mask. That, that's it. That's it. You do it, by, you do it by the mask. That's how you equalize the pressure. Yeah. 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 Um, but, um, as you're kind of swimming down, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> um, as you're, uh, swimming down, um, these, uh, these dolphins are, um, like they, you may like kind of pulls up her compad. And then she's like thumbing through these um, uh, <laughs> uh, photos and stuff. And then the dolphins, um, they like every once in a while, she looks at like a new one. And it seems like the, the maybe the dolphins have been like swimming around and like sending her pictures because um, like they get distracted and they like start chasing fish or stuff like that. Um <clears throat> and uh the um <clears throat> as you're getting a little bit lower um you see one of these uh like side well they they call them side fish um but they're like giant um like sort of like human sized cuttlefish kind of um they have like um they use their sort of like a pen they have like appendages but they're like more like tentacles but they do have like sort of um almost like a human sort of looking face um like they have two eyes and then they and and you know um they're sort of like human shaped a little bit um and then one of the, you're kind of going down and it's like, as it gets a little bit darker, um, the, um, yeah, same you check. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, it's like this thing just kind of comes out of nowhere. Um, and it starts doing like a display, like a really kind of colorful display. Um, and like, like waving its, tentacles and stuff um and anna kind of or sorry not anna um may kind of stops for a minute um and then she 
uh, like type type something out on her um, on her compad, and then she like shows it to you, and it says like um, we're in his turf. Um, and like he's doing a he's like he's doing a display. Uh, and she kind of like stops and like backs up, and then the um the dolphins are like swimming around you kind of protectively um like they're ready to like help help defend you if this thing gets aggressive um but it it's sort of like it's doing like the same kind of display thing that you saw like in the aquarium mm -hmm. uh lucas like the um uh, And, and we have we <clears throat> we still have the like is the was the com the, we still have the subvocal comms right? Can we communicate or or, or just uh, strictly be up my pad? Um yeah I'll say I'll say you guys have you guys have comms yeah it's just like she just yeah. says like she's like um we're in his turf like he's doing a display. Um, yeah, Lucas Lucas send goodwill towards him. Uh yeah yeah I wanted to. That's a good point. I wanted to remember if in the vision I saw some customs or some sign language, but I can send some positive uh, vibes through telekinesis, but I don't know, something like that doesn't have to be understood because it's a creature that is alien to us humans. Like I cannot just be like, we are peaceful. We are just going to get away. I just want to send this something is... like we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Warm. We are warm. We don't intend to intrude. Something like that. Like I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you do that. Like you do your kind of like um, surface thoughts thing, right? And then it um, it like it sort of intensifies its display a little bit, and it's like waving its arms and stuff. And you get, but it sends something back to you, and then it's like not not you're in its turf it says it's saying danger danger um and I'm, I'm going to inform our compatriots like it's it's almost like it's warning us of something it's not trying to get us away from its turf if i may say so uh lady may mm -hmm. i sense something like danger from uh it's trying to tell us something like there is something going on here in this particular spot and uh, she's like already uh, already tested is like ask Saul if he's got what sort of sensors he has that he can that he can uh, bring to bear on this area where the fish is telling us it's dangerous yep that has just not says like hey hey oh this place have anything like a sensor like anything to detect um life nearby um, so it doesn't necessarily it doesn't like not like check uh check for life, but you can like um it has like a sonar, you know, mm -hmm. and um and then it can kind of like um you know, you have like lights and stuff like that, and you can grab samples and do stuff mm -hmm. like that. No, I just asked you to like um put on like, you know, the sensors and everything for movement and what out and what out. Let's <laughs> Since I don't know how to use this thing, I'm just in here because I don't want to be out there. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yes. uh, I, so I I'll, I'll, I'll do a, whatever I can with the sensors on the submersible to yeah. you know give a yeah. give a scan of the area with whatever we have on it. Yeah, so maybe um, we, ought to, we ought to back up a little bit just in case active something or set something off. Do you want to do your? electron your sensors oh yeah electronic sensors. sensors right i knew i got sensors for some reason <laughs> <laughs> oh fine oh here i am okay cool sal not gal dornick but sal gornick sensors uh seafarer here it is electronic sensor all right uh modifier oh it doesn't put the modifier in huh? well okay. so you should be able to just click on the dice Next, oh, year. okay, sorry, right. it'll Here roll it for you. Here it it'll is. add all of your modifiers. All right, let's see. All right, one second, and here it comes. You go here. 
you go electronic sensor. Oh, no, it just, it, it opens up an input value modifier, input value modifier. Oh, oh, oh don't worry oh, about that. That's yeah, like, that's um, just, that just means you have a modifier, the modifier thing on top on yes instead of no. Just click on submit without a modifier on it. Yeah, don't worry oh, about okay. that. Okay, so I click the dice roller. Mm -hmm. And then I click submit. Yeah, submit. Yeah. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. so, oh, good. Um, so as you're, you know, you turn on the, um, like the sonar, and then um, you, you know, it like it does like a ping, um, and then there's a few things that like come back. Um, there are like several kind of larger um, shapes that it could be. You know, like you're seeing, you're seeing like the people in the water, yeah. And then you're seeing this, like this, this large sci fish thing, um. And then you're seeing these other little pings that are further out that are kind of like human shaped, too. Okay. Um, but they're they're kind of far out. And then what looks like it could be, maybe like another boat or something okay. like that. So when you say kind of far out, you're talking like a hundred meters, five hundred meters, maybe a whole kilometer. Yeah, like a whole, probably like closer to like a whole click. Yeah. Okay, so I relay this on comms, guys. Hey, there's like uh, north northwest. We got a single click boat click and multiple uh, human sized bogies in the water. How fast are those boats? How fast are those boats? Hmm? How fast are those boats? How fast are they coming in? Yeah. Does um, this... It's stationary. Oh, yeah. It looks or like they might, might be anchored. Doesn't look like they're going anywhere. Dang. Um, hmm. We just can. I don't know how you do this. Uh, uh, maybe kind of send your set to it where your where your mind is kind of going that direction. As to say, it's like I'm not sure how you do that. Basically, is the danger coming? Figure out some way of, of kind of indicating that the, it's the danger coming from that direction, the direction of the ship. Yeah, but it's like it. It, it kind of doesn't work that way too because it's like you know a kilometer away and he can't see it uh, uh i i guess if i'm going to try something but you tell me if this is efficient i'm going to so right now we know that this um creature doesn't intend us harm so i will feel safe to approach it you know and as i'm approaching it I'm not going towards it exactly. I'm trying to go past it in a very soft swimming type of deal. Does it intensify its message of don't go, don't go, don't do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like it's like kind of blocking your path. Like it, okay, it, okay, it's okay, of, okay. You know, it's almost like it's trying to stop you. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's probably past it somewhere uh, far. Try away. changing. Try changing your angle just a little bit and see which what, what okay. it does. Yeah. That, so that's I can just come off the other direction, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm swimming towards my compatriots now, backwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Does it lets it... you. Yeah, it totally lets you go back. It's like it's, okay. So, um, it say if it's like blocking your path to the back. right, try try swimming to the left past it. See what happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So left, yeah. I'm going to try all the some possibilities. Um, mm -hmm. How does it react exactly? Um, is if you so you start to kind of go the other direction, and then it stops doing its display, um, mm -hmm. and it kind of like backs up a little bit okay. and lets you, you know, continue. Like yes, we can we can deduce from all of these parts where the danger is uh, not pinpointed, but the okay. uh, direction, so to speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, um, 
it kind of almost camouflages itself. Like it, it look like as it sort of moves back from you, it's um, it looks like oh, sort of like a chameleon, like it kind of blends in with the surroundings. Um, and then the uh, the dolphins kind of like start swimming out, you know, like in an arc um, and looking around. Um, and May is like, OK, we'll we'll make it super quick. OK, if there's anybody out here that shouldn't be. Um, we're the only people that have a license to operate right over here right now. We can totally like defend ourselves, you know. Um, is the station armed? The 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 platform or the, the platform, caller? Yeah, yeah. The, the, well, yeah. the platform. Yeah, we're the only ones who have a who have a license to be out here right now. If if we can talk to the to the um mm -hmm. to the platform and tell them, you know, mm -hmm. if if anybody starts coming up here in a boat that they're pirates or something mm -hmm. um and and they know that i'm here and they know that i have a price on my head um but i'm uh, assuming but we, they have we, they have we radar too well within I'm our assuming rights. they have radar as well right yeah because it could be a submersible too yeah so yeah the um the thing that pinged on the sonar you can't really tell how big it you you just know that it's like mm -hmm. it's it's big enough to be a boat it's big enough to be a submersible got it um and then you get like a, a few few paintings from different things but it's hard to tell what they are but they're like larger you know not small fish not not groups of fish are are the the sensors that i used to uh to ping it uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with the tech level that they are. Are they sophisticated enough to get a, a depth? Like it's a surface hit, it's 10 meters under, 50 meters under. Was it able to kind of give me some kind of kind of depth on it? Um, I think it's more, it's more like distance. It's like, you know, like, um, Go, like going out from you, like in a it. bubble. Yeah. Oh, got it. Um, but may it starts to go down pretty quickly um and then she, she's like pointing with the dolphins to uh it's like you go that way you go that way um and, and it's probably and it's probably even distracting the psi fish like keep him busy or something <laughs> because it wouldn't let her go mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so she's kind of going in the direction that you went, where you're like, you're like, okay, we go this way because it doesn't want us to go that way. Right. And she's what like, direction? Okay, what direction going. was that? Is that kind of in line with where the ship is or not? Um, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. being I know that Tessin's nervous about being down here, uh, like. Uh, Hey Tessin, no. Uh, do you, do you want to follow anyone in particular? Do you want to stay in the middle? What, what do you What do you feel comfortable with? I'm fine as I long know that this thing we're in and stays is afloat. As long as that happens, we can go as far as you want. Okay, you got it. I'm I'm pretty handy with this thing. I just want to make sure you're cool with this. So we'll just store to stay back and kind of in the middle of the pack then. Yeah, again, if Tessin dies, they're going to haunt you in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, you see May, like, go down pretty quick, and then she's going straight for the, the crawler. Um, and as you, you know, come down more, you see this thing. I mean, it's it's you're not going down that far, but it's like... You, you go down a little ways you see this thing it looks like a um sort of it looks like a giant crab kind of but it's like a it's a uh um obviously like a, a vehicle like a submersible but it seems like it just walks on the on the floor like on the seabed um <clears throat> and um as she goes up to examine one of its legs um 
and it's been sort of knocked out like it's um the um the leg is like blown apart and then it's sort of lurching over to like one side um and she starts taking pictures and like dragging dragging her hand through the silt to kind of like look for any any kind of debris or um anything that's like not supposed to be there and then the the dolphins are doing the same thing they're kind of like swimming around in a circle they're like sticking their nose in the silt and stuff and then like every once in a while you see like a flash like where they're um like taking pictures or something and then they maybe one of them sees something like a shiny piece of metal and like like click a click um and then like takes a picture of it uh so and yeah may is like quickly quickly like i don't want to be here all day <laughs> yeah okay um i'm trying to think of what uh what would be a um useful skill to to be looking around as well recon a bit, a bit. investigate yeah recon or what? Recon would be oh good. yeah i think she, i have recon yes okay let me see yeah i'm doing pretty much the same thing but um hmm. i'm trying to see if uh, there is someone or something coming in our direction <laughs> essentially because i'm feeling a little bit like uh the third wheel seeing how the smart dolphins have uh, cameras in those cybernetic implants so they also can take pictures uh they definitely are more able to cover much more ground faster so i'm looking around to see if mm -hmm. i'm seeing mm -hmm. anything uh in the muck yeah i don't think um, i do <laughs> and, and anybody that's in the submersible can do recon too um just yeah. like you're you're kind of looking with the lights and stuff and uh yeah i can do a recon let's see is there anything i could use as a modifier for that um well okay actually don't bother because Tessin just okay. got a really good ball <laughs> so um as you're kind of you know doing this yeah both of you guys um uh, as you're doing this, like you come across something um, that it looks to be like an improvised, um, like a uh, improvised mean? explosive device, like mm -hmm. a mine, but it do doesn't mean? look like a military grade mine. It looks more like somebody sort of jerry rigged uh, an explosive and um or the you can see where like where the detonation like happened um and kind of going through this stuff but there's not there's um nothing that stands out that says like like oh like cyrillic writing or like chinese writing like that's uss that's a landmine um it's more like um this looks more like homemade Um, uh, and like you kind of pointed out, yeah, um, you kind of pointed out to May, and then she swims up and and just grabs it mm -hmm. and like tosses it into or like grabs some debris and then tosses it into her. She has like a plastic, uh, like a mesh bag that's on mm -hmm. her side, and she just grabs it and puts it in there. Um, and like, it takes a couple pictures of like the area, like the crawler leg and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, and like a couple of pictures, like close by. Mm -hmm. And then she like shoots up to the surface, starts shooting up to the surface mm -hmm. and she's like, okay, we're good to go. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the dolphins going, if one of the dolphins going, I'm going to grab a hold of the uh, fan and let him take let them take me up mm -hmm. yeah um but you don't like there's there um i think maybe like in sal like you see 
uh, like as you're shining the light around, like looking in the submersible, you see there's more of these the side fish guys mm. that are kind of like hanging around here, like looking at this, like watching all of this play out. Um, and that they, they that could have been painting, you know, um, like it could have could have been them that were showing up on your sonar yeah um but they're kind of like blending in and sort of watching all of you but they're really well camouflaged now, now from from knowing the, the the sea area of of this region are are they are these sci fish common to here or is this an, an unusual sighting well it's they are like native or at least this is where humans know them to be from. Oh, okay. Um, and like, you, yeah, you, you, you maybe have heard stories about like the, um, the precursors, like the ancients, like moving, um, like, like transporting the things that they thought were useful to planets and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, um, it might not be their home world, but it, but they do live here, or this is where humans discovered them. But they, um, they're not like um, don't seem to fit the ecology exactly. What? They don't seem to fit the eco. They don't seem to. They, do they not seem like they probably? Do they seem? There does their physiology seem a little bit wrong for this planet? Yeah. Well, it's like they've done. There's, you know, there's all kinds of stories about like terraforming and stuff like that, yeah. or how they yeah. just like, like where, where you got the last planet where you were all at, like they were using the, um, the hivers as like yeah. a slave race kind of, or like soldiers. Yeah. Um, but if there was any previous life to this, that, that, that evolved, that they about the thing and they would, they would, their physiology would be different, you know? Yeah. But, yeah. but this is the first i think this is the first time that you've seen that you've seen one of them and then they look very they almost look shockingly human like like they look like um maybe like a cross between a a squid and a human like like you're you you first see the, you know they the, this first time that you've seen one of them up close and like they look like um like a cuttlefish human hybrid or something like that I have a question for Lucas, but I'll wait till later. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, it, it's not, no, actually, it's not normal to see like big groups of them. Um, Typically, like, unless they're like, you've, you've found on something where maybe you don't belong there. Like if there's a whole bunch of them in one place, it's because they're doing something um, like having a gathering and like it probably spook them. Does does Sal know that Lucas is uh, kind of a, a psyker, psy sensitive? Probably not. I, I, probably. I don't think that he's like, he, this would be the first time that you've met so, yeah. Okay. All right. Never mind. So I wouldn't say anything. <laughs> Me as you would be saying, please think positive thoughts for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I told you. You might if, if you were if you could overhear my conversation, which Milk, which um, Tessin could. That's what I. That's what I told him. It's like <laughs> to think positive <laughs> thoughts towards him. So you might be wondering about that. <laughs> positive vibes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I followed suit immediately with the positive thoughts. Now that I know that they are more than just friends, they are pretty much our uh, non-verbalizing allies. I am sending all the thanks and you are awesome thing thoughts, thought patterns to them. Yeah. Yeah. And and now that you see them, like now that you notice them and you send out that kind of like positive vibes you see them kind of do a little bit of a display where they like change colors, like do like the rainbow kind of colors a little bit. But, almost more, cal like... but more calmer right now. No flailing their uh, appendages. Uh, I'm everywhere. gonna be, I'm, I'm turning my camera over and taking a picture of that or their display for later analysis. Yeah, sure. But yeah. it's almost like, um, it's more of like, like a greeting 
for like a recognition. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That, yeah, that, so that's what I mean. Work. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. Since they're nonverbal, uh, um, probably if, if they change color, they almost certainly communicate and at least somewhat by changing color. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, you know, you send out your, if you say what you're like, thank you, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, you see one of them kind of like light up a little bit, like the, mm-hmm. um, yeah. You know, what? I'm going to say it. I always knew that Lucas was truly an empath all along. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, um, so everybody's heading, but everybody's heading up to the surface, right? Like after yeah. this plays out, like, yeah, like you, Anna yeah, I, sort I'm of grabs the side of a dolphin. I'm, I'm afraid I won't know my way back. So when I hear uh, May just going back, I'm like, okay, sure, let's hurry up. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm purely taking direction from Tessin. If Tessin wants to go, go somewhere, I'll. I'm really trying to focus on making sure Tessin feels comfortable because I know Tessin <laughs> was spooked going into the water and I didn't want If that. May's going up, we're done. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you got a test. All right, up we go. Yeah. Just like the, the faster we get out of here, the faster I can stop clawing your seat with my nails. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it. Up we go. Um, so... A couple things happen though, like the so Aunt or uh, I keep saying Anna. So May hits the like the surface of the water first, like she's the first up, and then um, you see you see something like I think Anna, like you're like right behind her. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're following her, you know and the dolphins are following her. Mm-hmm. Um, you see something and it's like uh it may almost like she's like here one second and then all of a sudden like she's like slightly to the right and it's like it's like she what you, you like you could have sworn that she was in one spot one second and then poof she was right to as like a second spot a second later um, and then you hear like a shot, um, and it's like she just dodged a bullet, like literally dodged a bullet. Um, Whoa! I went by tech that is. Yeah, like she's getting, she's you know coming up the side of the boat, mm-hmm. and then she's like getting out of the water, and then like to like, and then like the you hear like the shot, and then she dives over the inside of the boat and then um the like the guys that are on the dock like up on the the platform they're like they're like ah out there out, out there shot came from that side um and then you know you you hear like a couple of guys with rifles like taking shots um and um if you you know you come up and then like you see all these guys like and then they're shooting in in this direction there's a boat that's like about a click out and somebody tried to cash in maze chips like but missed but it was almost like like you see you swear that you saw her she's in one place one second and then in another place the next second she's got some sort of piece of tech and i wanted Oh. <laughs> yeah but i think that um the like everybody that's in the submersible is probably coming up last because it's just yeah. slower than swimming straight up or having a dolphin oh, yeah. take yeah. you uh, like a mm-hmm. rocket mm-hmm. um if anything we just heard the reverbs of what something happened up there because that's how water works <laughs> yeah so but we don't like know what's happening. Uh, I'll say our cup, our, our uh, unknown company just shot at May. Shot at May. Where are they? They're it's from that that boat. That boat. They tried oh. to make a shot from that far away. Oh yeah, that's that's a that's one solid click out. Can't do much with my 
my auto pistol. This is not good. We should probably are they are they making giving us chase or are they backing off? I don't know. Um, yeah, so the and everybody starts shooting at him. <laughs> everybody that's on the platform, you hear like multiple, you know, multiple gunshots, like multiple guys with rifles that are mm -hmm. taking shots. And then um and then May is like, she's like, fuck, fuck, like getting the the boat started. Um, like not waiting for another shot to ring out. Um yeah. and then they like the you don't hear another shot though it's like uh i guess if you if you want to do i don't know another recon maybe um the, do, do we have surface scanners now something that's a little bit better or yeah or i mean yeah you could use the you could use your sensors like on the yeah. school we'll do we'll do uh, uh sea level sensors um do the, are they uh are they advanced enough to give a modifier or are they straight up zeros zero sensor um i would say zero because it's like it's within your sensor range got it oh yeah. darn nothing nah yeah okay. can plan. i can i use the the um the drones to give me a, modif a modifier on the recon or not um yeah well i mean i think you just use your your computer skill or your your sensor skill is really good right yeah you right. use I that so. instead oh, yeah okay let me see okay good yeah. okay yeah right okay yeah let's do that yeah okay where is it because you have you have computers per Electronics, right. computers, and electronic sensors, right? Yeah, so you could use either yeah. one of those. Yeah, for your yeah. Comms, yeah. Remote and sensor, I think, are the are the four. Okay, yeah, that's um nice. Oh. Yeah, that's a twelve. So, um, the um they're definitely moving away from you and pretty fast. Like the um, you can see them moving um like the opposite direction can i get like, the uh the, the the drone to go just what what's the range of its uh effective range of its camera you are you just want you want to try and take some some pictures yeah i'll take some pictures yeah mm -hmm. um yeah so the you're like flying the drone out you know mm -hmm. like behind these guys like as they're mm -hmm. taking off so maybe you hear one more shot like the, the... it's going to be kind of it's not going to it's not going to be I'm, I'm trying to think of uh it might be a do they make a lot of noise or not i forget they don't make a lot of noise right or do they um i would say if you're driving a speedboat like top speed it wouldn't they wouldn't hear they it, wouldn't but... hear the thing so i'm just going to be out of its normal out of their normal line of sight you know everybody looking at us i'll have them up a little bit higher uh, yeah. So where, you hear, hopefully they won't notice another hopefully shot. they won't notice that somebody's taking pictures of them. Yeah. yeah. Um uh so you hear like one more shot and then the um like as you're trying to like sort of follow them, and then like there's like a guy that's like bouncing, you know, on the back, and he seems to be shooting at May. He's oh, like he's like he's not he's I don't know if he even saw the the drone oh, okay. like yeah. um but like he, he's like focused on on may you know and like looking down the barrel of his gun and then there's another guy that's on the front of the boat that's just like flying the other direction but you can take um you can take some pictures of them mm -hmm. um nice. i mean with like a, with a 12 that's like doesn't get better than that so anna's ready to teach classes in this with a yeah. 12. <laughs> yeah but you can you could take a couple of pictures of these guys and then um if you i mean if you want to keep following them you could keep following them but well as far i might start as rolling the... for them if they yeah. if they take their focus uh, off of may and then notice the drone to try and shoot the drone, but I, I, I'm just going to have it kind of circle around, 
kind of uh, circle around uh, and see if it can get like a name on the boat, uh, some sort of registration number, if there's anybody on the deck, pictures facial of them, yeah, facial mm -hmm. recognition, professional recognition, yeah. then I'm leaving. Because you know, yeah. otherwise we're gonna leave, otherwise we're, yeah. we otherwise we're gonna leave the, the drum behind. So we don't want to do that. Yeah, you get a couple good pictures of these guys mm -hmm. and then and say that you get like um there's like a something some writing on the side of the boat. But they're just they're hauling like they're going as fast as they can the other direction. Yeah. Um but you know, they were pretty far out, like a click mm -hmm. out like taking a shot at some like maybe a um the sniper like a really good sniper it could hit them but uh or could hit me but it's like might have just been a warning um i think but may is like she's getting the boat started and she's like come on come on come on everybody on the boat everybody on the boat kind of freaking oh. out I'll help clamp on or whatever you know, to get the submersible on board or hooked up to clamps or whatever, however it's towed or stored. Assist. Yeah. So say that it just takes a while for the submersible, you know, to get up to the surface and then you got to yeah, get out. You got to do all the, yeah, like hook it up to the the platform again yeah. and all that. And, and Miz, like, see, like... <laughs> That might take oh. like eight or nine minutes. <laughs> well, well then, I mean, we, yeah, we, we, we've got people, we've got people. I mean, that's the, that's the platform submersible, right? Yeah. But you know, so Anna knows, like Anna's like, like they're, they're leaving. Like they are out of here at a clip. Like they might've taken a couple of shots at you, but they, there's no way that they're going to hit you like bouncing yeah. from the back yeah. of the boat at that speed, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we could leave. We could leave the submersible to the security to the submersible to the uh, the crew of the uh, platform, and then get on uh, Sal's boat and beat beat back to the uh, mm -hmm. the docks. We got some information to process here. Yeah, but and but gotta, your boat is mm -hmm. way faster than theirs. Exactly. Yeah. It's nice. Um. So up to you if you want to follow them. Or if you want to just head back to the casino. I think we head back to the casino and then we got some research to do from our photos here. We're going to do face. You know, uh, looking into if, stuff if to are, yeah, if you're voting, I'm, I'm saying that and I'm kind of whispering this uh, so many cannot really hear, but I don't want to be selfish because it's not the way of my framework but of my uh moral framework but this is not our conflict this is we are here or far they shouldn't have sent her i'm i'm i'm, I'm amazed that they just didn't send us to meet with sal and to do all of this and they sent her here yeah She's they have their own weird weird customs i don't i don't understand them but they're oh. so weird Sal doesn't even know them. <laughs> I mean, I don't think this is a custom thing. It sounds like they want me to get attacked. No, I think her. Uh, well, like I, I think the thing like her father wants to show that they're not going to be intimidated. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah. All right. Is well, he's, you he's can stay like in your little world where everything cannot be intimidated, but sending your daughter in a place where, like, she has chips on her head. That doesn't sound like a smart thing to do. They're, I mean, they're basically gangsters. I mean, I mean, they're dressed up in nice robes, but they're, you know, basically gangsters. <laughs> well, usually the neighbor will secure the package, not have the package just be willy nilly you know, out in the open for everybody to say, "Hey, look at me! I'm a package, ready to get taken." All right. Well, let, let's let's her get her, let's get her back to safety, then we'll figure out. That's what yeah. we're gonna do here. They just uh, shine where walla. Yeah, yeah. May's like staying down, like still looking, like to see if there's anybody shooting at her. Um, so, I, so there's a little thug in me on her side. So I'll take a couple wild pop shots at them, you know, <laughs> side gangster style. Yeah. 
yeah. knowing I'm not going to hit a thing, but just, you know, just the bravado of it. Uh, I'll, I'll also... I'll, I'll also switch over to private, private channels for, to Tess, uh, Tess and and, uh, and uh, Lion and say, and I also want to see about getting a hold of whatever that blink device or it, that she has is. <laughs> Maybe we could write oh, one yeah. out, of, out of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, you want that. That's what you're most concerned about. What I'm more concerned about is just getting back there with her in one piece. Well, yeah, I mean, oh, wait, we get back tell, there, yes. Do you tell, do you tell Lucas that? Uh, that's what um Anna said. They're on private comms. Talk to me, uh, uh, me and Lucas. Yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah. I had a oh. private consult between the, the three of them, saying it's like, like, yeah, if we get her back in one piece, maybe we can get a hold of that. Uh, we maybe we can get uh, uh, broker some sort of deal or get something for that blink device or technology she has or something like that. So besides that, I uh, kind of like her. Uh, geez, um, new planet, well, same problems. Actually, Lucas, do you want to give me? Do you want to give me like a, I don't know an intelligence role, or mm. your um, yeah, whatever you feel is more appropriate. Because I think um, I think you would you would know what this is. Ah, uh, I understand. Okay, yeah, an intelligence, uh, an intellect. Ooh, I, I thought Lucas was a little bit smarter, but uh, let's see. Probably. Oh. Yeah. So you you know what happened. She teleported. Um, she's a she's like this is why it's so touchy to bring up psychic stuff around her family. They're teleporters. Um and like Oh, she's a tell oh she's a telemetic. That's what she yeah, is. Yeah, she's a telemetic, yeah. Oh, oh. can't get I can't get you know, shoot no technology that we can get a hold of then. Oh well. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm just gonna rip her brain out and put it in my head, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but you you oh, are know. on you are on, are on a kind of psionophilic planet. Like um mm. the uh the this planet has like a reputation for being like pretty um pro psychic. Mm -hmm. Whereas but, you know uh, on um Hemsa, it was like very state controlled, like yeah. They like you if but they can course. control you. Yeah. yeah. But that's uh, but that was pro that's probably their uh May's family's secret secret weapon, probably. Yeah. 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 And it kind of makes sense to like just um like it all kind of clicks you're like you're like oh that's why like that's why yeah. we don't talk about that like um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right or like what do you know about my family you know um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah they they got the head of the family got very defensive back then yeah mm -hmm. is, right is may in the leadership family head of the family uh clan that i'm in yes okay so she's like you know misa boss man so yeah yeah yes yeah. she's one of the um like she's not the the matriarch but she's like the the oldest daughter oh yeah um yeah i i take a bullet for her <laughs> <laughs> get down mr president <laughs> yeah um uh, can i join your crew and uh <laughs> lion Tess? yes i want to see the world a little bit farther out from here <laughs> you want to see the great beyond otherwise off this planet <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah well, I, I imagine if you keep acquitting yourself the way you have it here, it's like, yeah, yes, yeah, Anna's going to want you to go with, with it. Okay. You didn't let me die, so you're good in my book so far. Right on. <laughs> that was my goal. After the... yeah. Yeah, Lucas agrees as well. Uh... You're, on, you're on the I'm not getting a vengeance on this person list right now. <laughs> For now. I like to do a little yeah. status. For now. I mean, technically, you're part of you were part of May's crew, um, 
like you got here on her ship but uh mm -hmm. yeah and so we'll see we'll see if she what she wants to do after she no, no. <laughs> But so so far the list goes um Lucas a crewmate <laughs> Anna sort of okay May I don't know if I want to fuck her or not concerns <laughs> <laughs> um so the uh but if you're if you just head back to the casino um you get there very very quick yeah. uh and this yeah like i said this boat just flies literally flies um <clears throat> but um one thing does happen like as you get back to the docks um like uh there's you kind of pull into the docks and um there's like a a paparazzi kind of guy who takes a picture of of may and he's like may over here you know may um and uh and and then he's like or she's People like have no shame god <laughs> yeah yeah like the, the the guy is like taking pictures of her and then he, she's like she's like fuck off juno like get the hell out of here so like, I, she I knows put, the guy <laughs> i i look to may does she want me to go tackle the sucker um she's like she's like yelling at him like she's like she's she's like you know you asshole like if you post um if you post my location like i'm gonna i'm gonna have your balls um and and I'll he's go like, after him. yeah he's yeah. like he's like always a pleasure and then he you know um it turns around and like heads back into the casino are you tackling him yeah if he's if he's within 15 feet I'll go to disarm his camera. My mm -hmm. goal will be to smash it into a thousand pieces, but leave him alone. Yeah. Um, I think uh, melee, like, I'll give you a plus two because you're just running up behind the guy. He's yeah. not expecting it. My goal is not to hurt him. Uh, they, say, yeah. um, they say melee is the um, base of your strength. So whatever you have for your strength, you Got have it. plus one or something in your strength, you add that to the um, 2d6 roll. You can do Dex too, can't you? Yeah, I, I've got. Um, De Dex is weird. Dex is more for gun combat, less than for melee. It's really or, weird. Or or blade or disarming. Yeah. Yeah. A tackle I mean, would like, be technically under the um category of like um grappling, which would probably be under the strength category. Yeah. Okay, so let me see. So I'll take two off of this. Oh no, I'll take one off of this because this is here. So how do I change my ordinary melee, which is on decks, back to? Oh, you could just here. go to the dice roller. Um, you, yeah, I'll just on the like go to the dice roller. Just do a two d six and add whatever it is to it. Yeah, and so instead of going a modifier of the two, I'll just do modifier of the one since that's the swap difference between the strength and two. Yeah. Or I, I would take stealth too. You could do stealth if you wanted. Okay. Just run up right behind him and smack his camera out of his hand. Like solid. that's a solid smack on his camera. Yeah, but you can have a plus two because you're just running up behind the guy and he's not expecting it. Like, oh, so that would be eleven. Oh, um, yeah. I sorry, I didn't see you rolled. Yeah, so you just run up behind the guy, and then just like oops and like smack his a camera out of his hand and then it flies to the ground and it um just flies into a million pieces yeah and he like turns around and he's like what the hell you fucking that's like a thousand credit camera you dumb yeah. son of a bitch oh i'm so sorry well wanna you have nice day man tess is gonna smirk and like no i think that. i like sal actually he's pretty nice yeah yeah, yeah, he's like, you're gonna pay for that, sa sa, huh? Oh, you're gonna pay for that. And he like tries to like pick up the like the pieces of it and like go in for the memory card, you know? Uh can I walk yeah. past and just um crunch my foot on the memory card? Like yeah. oops, <laughs> didn't see yeah. it. I yeah, and I'm I'm gonna go lead over towards Vince like uh do do you uh really want to cross your father? Also, of course, I do it with my prosthetic um, mechanical leg because I yeah. have to rub it in. It's like, oops, I yeah. didn't see that there. So sorry. Yeah. And I will do not you even really want to roll it. Do, do you really want to cross your father by taking pictures of her when she doesn't want him taken? 
Um, yeah, so so Tessin like his or her her mechanical leg just like ow, you know, <laughs> just, just like shatters. Uh and then like all of a sudden this guy has like three, you know, crewmates on top of him. And May is like, yeah, yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the guy's like, you know what? Hey, hey we're all friends here. Like, yeah. it's not worth it. Um, and just like backs off from the the pile of um electronics, mm -hmm. you know, like smash electronics on the ground. Yeah, Tess just gives a big pat on Cell's back and says, Well, how did there? That's a dandy. Didn't know you had it in, you sea legs. <laughs> <laughs> um but May is like, let's um do you wanna uh, do you want to meet at the bar, or do you want to come with me? Go talk to my dad. Uh, let's go talk to him. I've got because uh, I want to get access to um, whatever the database is that registers to people for, like I guess, you know, their equivalent of driver's license, for boats mm -hmm. or whatever like that. Uh, yeah. See, because I've got I got some pictures, and I I've got a pixel, and I'm going to run it. Well, I. I'm going to try to run that through a facial, hook it to that and run it through a facial recognition program to see if we can get any matches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Sounds I, like a plan. Um, but can you all just go um, on without us? I want to speak privacy to me real quick about something. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, you're, you pull May aside? Yeah. Once they're like, you know, walking off, um, they go get their, her dad and everything to go meet up. Uh, Tessa just like looks at her and says, "Like, hey, you all right?" Like, uh, I've never been never been shot at before. <laughs> well, I would say you get used to it, but uh, that'd be a lie. <laughs> just like I feel like I'm getting in over my head. I know why my dad wants me out there, and why he doesn't want my little brother out there, or like my mom. But still, like, this is kind of scary. Uh, can't say I can understand that part. I'm only child. Only had me, my father, and my ma the whole life. Dad kind of passed away a little while ago. <laughs> Actually, like 10 years ago. But that's not the point. Just know I can understand what you're going through. <laughs> I have my head on someone's bounty as well. And let me say it right now, it never gets easier. But I please say this, and I put a hand on her shoulder. It does make you get stronger and realize who you is really the important ones in life and who you can trust. I'm not saying I trust you or anything or everyone here, but so far, you guys seem all right. Most people I've met, it takes a while for me to get used to them. So just know, know how I feel in this fight. It come off a little hard sometimes. It's just the environment I grew up in. Well, thanks, Tess, and I can tell that you're trying to make me feel better in your own way. I, that was just that was scary. <laughs> what? I'm not trying to make you feel better. I'm just giving you, you know, that old rage and, and um, horse or rage that it has. Whew. You know, get pumped for when it happens next time. And I'm glad I'll you have my back. Be there. Don't say it like that, please. It makes it sound more mushy than it should be. Uh, just know we're comrades in this. As long as I keep getting paid, I'll keep helping you out. And she, she kind of like slugs you in the arm, you know, but not like doesn't hit you. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just like, <laughs> like you're all right. Uh, you're all right to me. Now, right, come on, let's go talk to my dad. Yeah, uh, done with the whole sentimental stuff and all that. <laughs> Let's get going. And yeah, she got, we got walks a off here, you, like a little, little bit right here, like this little tiny, tiny one. No, I'm uh, kidding. Austin's don't cry. We maybe shed some saliva that comes out of our er eyes sometimes, but that ain't to you. That's just our natural born and reflex, so that our eyes don't get dry. I'm just fucking with right. you. Of course it is. I'll, All right. I'll, uh, I'll uh, say, so. Sal, I'll buy, after we get through to taking care of this stuff, I'll buy you a drink. You got us back here safely, so. Pleasure. You're a good crew. So, um, 
are you kind of splitting up though? Cause like, if you want to go, if you um, want to like look through database, like if you're looking for facial stuff, um, well, can, can he get us access to it easier? Or I mean, can yeah, you just call I mean, somebody I was up just and gonna say, say you, you could, you could take the, like take your pictures to, um, uh, subtle family. Where's my subtle family? Um, you could take the pictures to, um, Minato or, uh, Akira, you know, or even Hachiro, like just show, like ask them like, Hey, um, I got some pictures of these guys that tried to kill May. Um, do you think we could find them? You know, like, cause they, they have access to, um, like their own databases and stuff like the casinos database. And... Okay. We can do, we try that first and then, and if necessary, then we can, uh, get into the broader network. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so it shouldn't take, <clears throat> it shouldn't take too long. Oh, poor, poor Victor. <laughs> so, no. <so> cool. <laughs> Victor, no. <laughs> Victor. Um, so, I'm uh, right here. Moving a little bit on the phone. I'm right here. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, May, you know, she heads back to the office, like where her her dad is. And like you see all these guys, they're just like sitting around like all these heavies. Like it doesn't seem like they've moved since the last time that you were here. And they like look up at May, you know, kind of look at the look at the patriarch, like look at her. And then she just like, yeah, thanks, thanks for nothing, guys, you know, and like kind of walks into her dad's office. And then they just like look back down at whatever like magazine they're reading, you know. Um, and she's like, yeah, I just got shot at. Thanks, Dad. Um, and uh, and he's like, "Oh yeah, did you uh, did you give me some uh, some did you give me some pictures?" Um, he's like, "Dad, I said I just got shot at." And uh, and he, and he's like, he's like, "What? You didn't get shot at when you were out there playing pirate?" Uh, and he's, you know, he's, he just says, he's like, you can't show them, you can't show them any fear. If they know that it scares you, they're just going to do it even more. They're just going to try even hard, harder. Um, you just have to, you have to keep your chin up. Like he calls it the same thing again, like little tiger in Japanese. Um, uh, and then she's like, she's like, well maybe maybe next time we need more guns and he's like there that's that's it like he kind of smiles you know um but uh but if you want to like show him the pictures and stuff um you're uh you're you're muted leslie Um, I'll I'll tell him. Uh, uh, yes, sir. I got my drones. Got some pictures. Uh, both the boat, the boat. Uh, with uh, uh, I'm assuming it's the, the name. I'll have to blow it up. And I got uh, some pictures from various angles of the people. We're hoping to run it through a facial recognition. Uh, first your local casino, and then we have to spread it out to the planet wide net uh, for the however they register. Uh, I'm assuming people are. Uh, uh, you have driver's license, so to speak, for boats, that sort of thing like that. Uh, see if we can get through this, figure out who these people are, and also uh, the registration for the boat itself. Yeah, he kind of like perks up when you mention that you got pictures. And he's like, yeah, let me see, let me see that. Um, yeah. And uh, he starts going into, like, going through his computer, like trying to get um, a facial match like on these, on these would be, um, assassins. Um, do, do, I have a better you, do you want to give him advice, an advice. assist? Yeah. I'll what? give him an assist. Yeah. Yeah. Just like do your computer. 
yeah um role we do like a skill chain with him yeah uh okay and uh... but um uh, as he's you know as he's okay uh and uh let's see here uh the uh we're gonna plus one for my computer right I thought your computer like what's your what is your computer skill? My computer skill is level two, but oh, then I've wow. got my special rig. Uh huh. Yeah, but that's only for um intrusion stuff. It's for like okay. it's like hacking intrusion stuff. Well, okay. Well, yeah. So so if I have to break into the uh into the uh, uh the their equivalent of the DPS, then I'll get the plus. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. But you're like you're really good with computers, like. Like I mean, if like your intelligence plus two, your yeah. two computer skill, mm -hmm. um, so but yeah, it's like, so that's a twelve, yeah. Jeez. But um, another twelve, Anna. <laughs> you really good, hey boss man, Anna. Good, she's <laughs> under under fire. She getting these pictures too. Like like you see this guy, you see Akira. He's like he doesn't. He looks like he knows what he's doing. Um, but he's like, and you're like uh like point a thing out um and 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 he seems kind of impressed he's like yeah i didn't see that um and uh and then you pull up um like they does the the facial recognition thing mm -hmm. um on the like these two guys faces and um it pulls up some like they've been in the casino um recently like in, within the last uh the last 24 hours um and then he he starts looking for the um the boat and uh and then it um it comes up as um uh, stolen okay all right but the uh the you do get like a solid make on these two guys and then you get like better um like a uh, close-up pictures mm -hmm. of them like sitting in the casino like mm -hmm. gambling like pulling you know messing with the slot machines and drinking and stuff from like the last from like literally like yesterday evening like probably like right when you guys got into the system yeah i i'm assuming you can uh, flag these faces for if they come in again right oh yeah yeah we'll have a little talk with them a little personal quiet talk in a quiet room. <laughs> good work. Good, good job. Um, you got some more pictures for me, honey. Um, and then she like she pulls out the the you know the memory like shows the shows him like the little flash drive or whatever, and then she pulls out a um the pieces of this bomb like from her from her bag um and then she's still like she's still like in her um bikini with like a sarong you know with like this this bag like uh with the the bomb you like just hanging from her side you know like she went straight from the boat straight to her dad's office um and like plops it down on his desk and he's like well, what is this um so like, that's the bomb, uh, and and he's, he's oh, well that's like that looks homemade. Like that's not that's not a mine. Uh, and what this was in the, the wreckage. Like this was um, yeah. The crawler stepped on this, and she's like, I yeah. don't know, but. Well, I mean, it was right by the light. It was right underneath where one of the legs was blown off. You know? I wonder if there's more out there. Uh, I think there are. I think there are amateurs. Uh, I mean, you had some idiot trying to shoot at her from a kilometer away without too much success. Well, they might have just been trying to get the money. They might have been just trying to get the bounty. We need to sort this thing out. We need to either deal with estrogen or we need to do something with the clans because we can't have the the clans can't have anybody that they that 
it feels like they have a grievance where we owe them money declaring a war assassins on us. And maybe it's time to have a meeting with the clans or, or another meeting with Astrogen. Can I uh, get a copy of the faces of the guys and send it to one of my uh, um, Firefly contacts to see if okay. they know something about a possible employer? So, of course, the um, uh, Japanese <laughs> Yakuza-like uh, mafia is going to take care of them through interrogation. I want to pursue my investigation as well in parallel, if that's allowed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, so, uh, so I'm going, wanted, to, I'm going to add kind of uh, copies. Firefly? Yeah, I'm just going to send uh, through something like uh, cyber uh, telegram gram or something i'm going to uh, send through some encryption uh these photos to a trusted contact probably to uh dragonfly the guy that through dragon the guy that actually put us in contact with uh, may and be like mm -hmm. what do you know about these people very briefly two questions what do you know about these people uh they received a recent contract i'm not going to say that they uh, try to kill uh, May. I'm just going to say they received a recent contract. Uh, can you find out who might have employed them or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it would take it would take a while to get a message to Dragon, um, but you you can definitely do it. Like it's just going to take some time, um, and then send them like pictures of these guys, like all the pictures that you have, and. Um, just mention like a contract, uh, but yeah, it'll be, it'll just, it'll just take a while to get a message back. Um, yeah, yeah. uh, so what if we, um, what if we put a pin in it there? Okay. That seems, yeah. That seems like a good stopping point because. Yeah, we've got, lines of, we've got lines of investigation that we can pursue. Uh, oh, thank yeah. you so much. This was yeah. freaking amazing. I'm thank you so much for allowing me to join you guys. Cool. Yeah, no problem. Well, cool. yeah, no problem. <laughs> Welcome. I was a little worried because I was like, I was like, well, Stu, it's not really traveler. It's, it's more like based on like alien and um like uh the expanse and but, and, but, but you're like, oh I love those movies. Like I love, oh, I love all of it. Everything I mean, you be, I mean to be fair, travelers whatever you make it, you don't have to like actually be yeah, in the traveler exactly. world. It's yeah, just you can't have to use their universe, yeah. 